Hello, Trinity. After last week, when we joined together in virtual worship with Episcopal churches throughout the state of Connecticut, I have to say that I'm looking forward to worshiping together just within our own Trinity community this coming Sunday. Even though two out of three of our services are still virtual, there is something special to me about knowing the people who are out there praying with me, whether I can see your faces in a little Zoom box or just imagine you out there as we are live streaming our service from the chancel. Your presence makes a difference, even if it isn't a physical presence, and I hope that you know that. This coming Sunday is Giving Sunday. It always feels appropriate to me that stewardship comes in a season of harvest and thanksgiving. In this year of losses and change, I am all the more grateful for the blessings of this life. If you count Trinity among your blessings, I hope that you'll fill out an annual pledge form and turn it in sooner rather than later so that we can begin planning together for the year ahead. I also hope that you will join us for our 10 a.m. Zoom coffee hour this Sunday for two reasons. First, we will be showing a short stewardship video put together by Tony Basowitz and the Stewardship Committee. It's lovely to see familiar faces in that video. So I hope that you will join us as we share that video and watch it together and reflect on our common community life. And then second, we will continue or begin well, we'll continue our coffee hour with part one of a two-part book discussion on this book, N.T. Wright's God and the Pandemic. If you've read the book, great. If you haven't, join anyways. This is really a time to discuss how the pandemic has made you grow as a person of faith and how we as Christians can reflect and respond to global events such as a pandemic. In closing this video, I wanted to read an excerpt of this book that spoke to me. N.T. Wright says, So often, when people look out on the world and its disasters, they wonder why God doesn't just march in and take over. Why, they ask, does God permit it? Why doesn't God send a thunderbolt? Or perhaps something a little less like what a pagan deity might do, but still, and put things right? The answer is that God does send thunderbolts, human ones. God sends the poor in spirit, the meek, the mourners, the peacemakers, the hungry for justice people. They are the way God wants to act in this world. They are more effective than any lightning flashes or actual thunderbolts. They will use their initiative. They will see where the real needs are and go to meet them. They will weep at the tombs of their friends, at the tombs of their enemies. I love this quote, and I love it because it reminds me that at Trinity, we are a community of lightning bolts. Some of us loud and bright, and some of us glowing like a candle. But each and every one of us shows the light of Christ in one way or another and our community is stronger for the light that you bring. So I look forward to seeing you soon, perhaps this coming Sunday. And in the meantime, God bless you and keep you. Amen.